everyone. I am into Charles Platt, Make Electronics, Experiment 23. And what I'm showing you is a couple of experiments ago, the game show system. But I wanted to point out that I've upgraded the uh, power supply on this. I've added the uh, LED there to show the power is on and the push button there so I can turn the power on and off. So now I'll move over to this breadboard. You see the, the um, I'm providing power from that breadboard to this breadboard. And this is experiment, the beginning of experiment 23. Uh, over here we have a um, 555 timer, an LED to show that show, prove this um, flashing, typical resistors and uh, capacitors over here to keep the uh, timing going. Um, we're feeding the um, output of the timer to clock A, which is the pin, um, pin 14 of the 74LS92. And I haven't figured out why clock B is hooked to the, um, this red wire, pin 1, is hooked into uh, output A, but it is. Um, we'll see what happens. So when I turn on the power over here, we see the light flashing and over here, you can barely see these, uh, low power, low current LEDs flashing, but basically it's counting in binary zero, one, two, three, I'm sorry, four, zero, one, two, Three, I'm four. Wow, it's going faster than I thought. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, zero. One, two, three, four, five, zero. And looping through. And this is, you can see that light's flashing with every change. So it's counting in binary up to six, actually from zero to five. Uh, six relative, relative to one, five relative to zero. So that's, we're getting ready for our dice and we've proven that that part works. Isn't that nice? More when we get the next parts wired up. So we're one back again. What I've done here with the dice situation, it's the idea is that you will hold down a push button and let the dice go through their um, rotation. And when you let go of the push button, you'll have a number up. Uh, when I do that, I will uh, replace the capacitors with smaller values so it goes faster. But for demonstration, I've left the, um, the existing capacitors in there. The only change is if we come over here. This resistor, which used to connect to pin 8 and on to power, now goes over here to this push button, and the other leg of the push button is um, connected to power. So if I turn the power on, you can see that yellow light come on, and I press the push button. You see the lights go through their through their cycle. And this is slow, so we can predict what's happening with the, with the dice. And it's only three numbers, but uh, this is for demonstration purposes. So if we let go of our let go of the push button, then it stops. In this case, it stopped at zero. Um, Okay, there it stopped it. Um, it's only staying on briefly, so that's okay. But you can see them go through their cycle. And then we stop, and everything's done. Now I'm going to go replace the capacitors, and we'll see what happens after we do that. Okay, so I've switched out the 10 microfarad capacitor that was here 
and I replaced it with this 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. Um, so the light should move faster. And in fact, you can't see them move. You can probably see them kind of flicker in there. And we're actually going to replace the resistor too to make it go even faster. But it looks like all the lights are on at once, but they're just flashing on and off, very cycling through very fast. Um, I'm going to put the other capacitor back now. So for adding the other, um, the other four di uh, for the other four lights in here, I want to be able to test, and I can't do that if I can't see what's going on. So that's the concept. More when I get the, get more stuff wired up. Okay, here we have continuation of experiment 23. We've got all seven LEDs set up down there. Now you can't tell exactly this is exactly working because the LEDs do not are not bright enough, but trust me, it works. So if we hold the button down here, you can start to see the five. Six, two, okay, one. You can see the um, the LED cycling through one through six on uh, the on for the dice. We need seven because we need the one in the middle. There's one, two, three, four. Up, oh, I went to six. Um, at any rate, um, trust me, this works. I hope that it will give a better demonstration in the next when I add uh, this inverter chip down at the bottom there because that's the next step and um, hopefully that will be better. But proof of concept, I won't add the uh, replace the capacitor and resistor quite yet. I'll wait until the end to do that. More when I get the next chip in. Okay, we have it. This was an exercise in stupid wiring tricks, but I finally got it uh, got it all worked out. Um, what's different about this uh, setup is this um, 7H74 LS06 um, inverter, which takes the outputs of the um, the triple input OR gate and inverts them, which allows us to sync instead of uh, sync current from the LEDs and makes them brighter. Remember the last time we had a little problem with the uh, brightness. Another problem, by the way, is that this push button over here, uh, if it bounces, uh, the sequence resets. So this is stage one. What I'm going to show is you step as a stepping through the uh, the dice toss. Then I will uh, update the um, um, capacitor and resistor up here off the timer to make it uh, tens of thousand times faster. So I won't be able to see it, and it will be more of a game. So here we go. First, you got to turn the power on. There you see all the, or five of the LEDs lit. That's where it was in the last time. Now it's cycling through one, two, three, four, five, six, back to one, two, three. So I know you couldn't see it the last time I was doing it. Now that's pretty visible and it actually works. So we're happy. Right now it's, uh, it's doing it at one a second. So we're, We'll come back when we've updated the capacitor and resistor, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I just replaced the capacitor. I replaced the 10 microfarad capacitor with a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor, which is a factor of 1,000, which is enough for demonstration purposes. So if we hold the button down, it looks like all of the, all of the lights are lit, but if we take them off, they'll stop. That's a, that rolls a 4. 
there's a one, there's a three, a six. So it's a quasi random thing. We could change the the resistor also, the 100K resistor, and replace it with a 1K resistor and um, make it 100 times faster than that. Um, but we're demonstrating the purpose. The idea is you press this button and it's like a roll of the dice or the die in this case. So, there we go. Nice dice. Make Electronics Experiment 23.